Good day to everyone. In our previous video, we had seen why we need to do the payment gateway testing and the kinds of testing that is required for payment gateway and live example for payment gateway testing. In this video, we will see in general what are all the test cases that we write for the payment gateway. Whenever we start payment gateway testing, we will first start with the UI testing. Now we will see what are all the test cases that can be written for the UI testing. Check if all the labels and boxes are visible. Verify that the payment gateway company logo or the name whether it is present or not. Check if the credit card number whether it is masked or not. Verify that all the payment options they are visible. This includes all the debit card, credit card, Google Pay or the U any UPI, EMI options. All these are included in this test case itself. Check if the color scheme matches the specifications. These are all the some of the UI test cases that we write for the payment gateway. Once the UI testing is completed, we will start with the functional testing. We will now see what are all the functional test cases that can be written for the payment gateway. Check if all the payment option is selectable, that is whether we are able to select the payment options or not. Next. Check if all the default credit card or the debit card it gets automatically added. Verify that the page does not proceed to the payment page before all the mandatory information is filled. Next, check if multiple cards can be saved or not. Verify that the correct uh, currency is reflected on the page or not. Next, check if the payment whether it is getting processed for null values in the cart or not. Check if the payment it is getting processed with an expired or the blocked card. Next verify the test cases like credit card or the debit card number plus wrong date and the wrong CVV and the credit and debit card number for uh, wrong date and right CVV. Like this we should uh, use different permutation and combination and we should write the test cases. Next check if, uh, if the users uh, gets the confirmation message or an email once the payment is successful or not. Next check if a pop-up appears if the session has been expired. Then verify that the users gets the information about the unsuccessful payment. Check if double payment is not occurring in, in any of the cases. Check what happens after the session gets expired and does the payment still occur or does it fail. Verify if the respective payment option triggers the right payment gateway. Check if the user whether he is being redirected to the application once the payment is successful or the after a transaction is successful. Next, check what happens if the payments get stopped in the midway. Does the amount still get deducted? Check if the pop-up blocker during the payment function. Check if the application page whether it is getting redirected to some other page or link instead of the payment gateway link. These are all the general test cases that we write for the payment gateway testing. Once the functional testing has been completed, we will proceed with the security testing. So now we will see what are the security test cases that can be written for the payment gateway. Verify if the credit card information or the debit card information whether it is masked form Check that the payment whether it is happening through a secure channel or not. That is the link it should start with the HTTPS instead of regular HTTP page that I had shown in my previous video how the secured page looks like. Verify if the OTP reaches only the verified number which is linked with the card. Verify if the transaction gets cancelled if the wrong OTP is entered. Check if the OTP it cannot be entered multiple times because the hacker he may enter various combinations and he may be successful. Check if the session gets expired within the specified time. Verify that the person get noticed if the wrong OTP is entered. Then check that it does not reflect on multiple numbers. Verify the bank name reflecting on the payment page whether it is the same bank as per the user. 
check if the amount deducted whether it is the same as the amount that is mentioned these are all the some of the security test cases that we write for the payment gateway testing once the security testing has been completed we will proceed with the performance testing now we'll see what are all the test cases that can be written for the payment gateway testing check if the payment gateway it is not crashing when the multiple users try to uh, do the payment simultaneously check the processor it is responding quickly verify the time taken to reach the payment gateway from the application page is same as the specified time verify that the page is secured check if once logged in the back button does not log out the user from the application check if the payment it is happening even after the session expires these are all the some of the performance test cases that we write for the payment gateway testing these are the some of the general test cases that i have showed you for the payment gateway testing thank you for watching our video please do not forget to like and subscribe to our channel so that you do not miss any of our updates